Hello fabulous humans, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then well hello, how you doing? Welcome, you have just slipped and slided into the most fabulous on period place on YouTube and I am so happy to have you here. Well now that I have you here, now that I have your attention, I'm just gonna give you five seconds because that's all I give. Because you know, I'm a busy girl, I'm quite busy, and I want to think that you're busy too. So let's not waste each other's time. Um, so let's just use the five seconds so you can go do what they do, subscribe to the channel, become part of the glitter and glam squad so we can shine together. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload a new video. And while you're at it, Hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows that little old me. I, I need a little shining, 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 yeah. Ooh, all of this winning. I need a little shine in this YouTube street. I had to bring Beyonce back out because um Beyonce is about to hit Texas, okay? So we have to bring her out. Anyways, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. You chose to come back and I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. It means the world to me. Thank you so much for the love, for the support. I appreciate you. Like I said, I was recording late. I wasn't recording late. I was just smoking, chilling, had a cup of drinks. Now, today's video, I'm like excited. I'm like, it's a one brand video. Oh, we're back to one brand videos. I'm going to have a few one brand videos coming up pretty soon. And um, let's get into it. So today's video is going to be about the brand new, spanking new, YSL Libre. This is Libre Absolute Platine. Now, come closer. Come come a little closer. Let's talk about it. Um, let's talk about YSL Libre before we get into this. You have never seen me feature YSL Libre on this channel. <sighs> Should we get into it? But you know what? I feel like this might be the Libre that would be for me. I have never featured YSL Libre here because honestly, I don't like it. Um, I always feel like it's it was like so, <laughs> it's so overrated. I don't know what made me buy it because I do not like any of the YSL Libres. You have never heard me talk about it on this channel. I, the first one came out, it was so boring and all the girls were eating it up and I'm like, I am, maybe I'm not that girl. Then they came up with the intense. I'm like, so what they're going to do? Intensify the boring? Like, chill? No. And then they came up with um, La Parfum. I'm like, okay. Now the boring has been intensified. And now they're trying to make the boring bougie. Because you know when they do that La Parfum? I'm like, um, uh, oui, oui, la la. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I see what you're doing there. Um, I didn't like it. <laughs> I have been looking for... A YSL Libre that works for me, okay? So let's get into the fragrance. So for pricing, so, so this 50 ml retails for 162 for um, 1.6 fluid ounce. And then there's 100 ml, which is like 192. I feel like that's expensive. And that's why I never bought the Libre for the bottle because 100 ml, that's $200 for a designer fragrance. YSL, are you kidding me? I will buy, come let me, I would, let's just get into this bottle. Because for $192, I will buy Caban, I will buy Rouge Veloge, I would buy um Baby Cat, I will buy Blouse, I will buy Kaftan, and those are from the um, Elevated line. But this is how it comes in the standard YSL packaging. Now... When I got when I saw the juice, the color of the juice reminded me of a fragrance, and I'm gonna show you right now as I bring it out. Oh, oh, I thought that was the color of the juice. It is not the color of the juice, it looked dark and it reminded me of Gris Chanel the way it looked in the picture but it is like frosted it's metallic i really thought that it was the color of the juice this is stunning i love the bottle i've always loved the bottle for um libre i just never liked the juice so let's get into the notes before we see what the fragrance do so for the top notes we get aldehydes 
bergamot and mandarin that's good for the middle notes we get lavender blue lavender and orange blossom hmm. and the base notes we get vanilla and we get amber so i think the amber in here is what might shine through and, and and save the day i have never smelt it so let me get my test strip if i put it on my body and let's see if the new ysl libre absolute platin it is what it's supposed to do if it's given what it's supposed to give so i got my my flower strip i really love this bottle i really love the bottle it's this gorgeous bottle and let's see automizer you know i'm big on automizers nice automizer i'm gonna see if the fragrance is gonna come to me it hasn't come yet oh it's coming now it's coming This is actually decent. <laughs> this is decent. You know what? This is nice. Let me tell you something. Oh, the lavender is coming out now. The lavender in the regular one, I could never do. I could never do. This is actually nice. It's actually nice. The vanilla and the amber with the lavender that's what i get you see that mandarin bergamot aldehyde the top notes so right off the bat this has the dna of ysl libre but i love how they played with the vanilla and the this is the first one i feel like i can wear <laughs> so i feel like i was right this is actually nice it's very nice it's very very nice now is it groundbreaking no it's not groundbreaking i like it i do like it it's very nice now one more can i make this my scent of the day i can i can well you see the the thing i the thing i always had with um ysl libre was the lavender the lavender notes used to be so sharp so pungent in my nose that i just couldn't get jiggy with it but in here they have two types of lavender in here but they've been able to make it sweet and then the amber gives it depth let me tell you ysl come let me talk to y'all I know you guys don't like to funk up, you know, the regular line, but I feel like in here, they would have just put a really little drop of like, you know, the olibanum and the labdanum. It would have, this would have been sickening. And I love, I love the bottle. So I'm going to put it on me. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to come back. In a few hours and i'll give you my final thoughts on the new ysl libre absolute platine i am back after what two three hours i am back with my final thoughts on the new ysl libre absolute platine <laughs> well for starters let's talk about the pros i feel like this the bottle the packaging is everything now the juice honestly let's talk about the price point first for this 50 ml for what 162 168 i feel like that's too steep that is overpriced and the 100 ml is 192 which with tax you're looking at 200 dollars. however from the private line if you get the small size which i think this is a 50 ml i think you're getting this i think this retails for 175 between 175 and 178 so you're looking at 180 dollars i would rather get this over this this is rouge veloge by ysl <sighs> intoxicating it is sickening so i think for the price of this for 162 you just add what 15 dollars max 20 bucks you can get rouge veloge you can get caban which caban is like is a rose tonka elemi bomb this is rose and patchouli and 
this is the biggest size of, of baby cat so i think this is like 250. you can get a smaller size of baby cat and you'll be smelling amazing this fall all three that i'm holding sickening or look at look at my ysl see i have a degree in ysl <laughs> fragrances this is tuxedo and look at my dent is all gone it is all gone this is my husband's bottle and we blew through it so this is sickening this tuxedo is sickening and i feel like you can get the smaller size of tuxedo which i need to pick up again this fall because when a fragrance is this you know you know it's crazy because i have well this like i said is my husband and he has lots of fragrances as well but i was using this with him so for the price of the um absolute plantain plantain <laughs> you can get you tuxedo the smaller size which is incredible it is one of the sexiest men's fragrances ever like ever or you can get baby cat and be sexy for fall this is vanilla it's like a toasted leathery vanilla amazing stunning and you can get that or or you can get caban by ysl which was my very first ysl that i bought it is sexy it has elemi and tonka bean with rose it is so good it's rose tonka for me it's tonka and elemi incredible or like i said you can get rouge velours from the elevated line and this is like 175 so listen for $15, $20 more, you can get those fragrances I listed. I would recommend you get those fragrances rather than spending $162 on 50 ml because I think this is overpriced. Unless maybe they have increased the price for, of these, but I feel like rather than getting 100 ml of this, you should get 50 ml of the smaller versions of, of their elevated line because they make amazing, stunning, sexy fragrances. Is this a fragrance that I'm going to wear when I want to feel... Um, when I want to turn heads, no. Is it a fragrance I'm going to wear when I want to break necks, no. Is it a fragrance I'm going to wear when I'm going to a party, no. This is a, I'm going to work, I'm going to, um, if I was going into the office, it's very crowd pleasing, everybody's going to like it. I'm running errands, I'm going to Target, going to Walmart, I'm going to Home Goods, I'm just running around, I can wear this. Is it a compliment getter fragrance? I don't know, you know, for people that love the smell of um, YSL Libre, it will be. I feel like it's an okay fragrance. It's okay. The packaging is sickening. I think it's good. After put this, putting this on me, I did, I was done with this review. Let me tell you something. I was done with this review and I moved on to another fragrance video. To It's a one brand video. I got a discovery set. And I wanted to try all those fragrances from that video to see if I was feeling any one of them. And um, I was sniffing the fragrance and I wasn't really getting the full um, juice out of that video because I felt like I kept smelling Libre. So that means this fragrance is very strong. It's very potent because I was like, I had my test strips here like this and I could still smell Mm, okay, I'm smelling that now. I could still smell Libre. But what I will tell you is the lavender in Libre is so much for me that as I was smelling the Libre, it was giving me a headache. <laughs> I have tried my best to really, really get into YSL Libre. I haven't been. It's very strong for if you loved Loisa Libre, you would love this. But for me, it was so the lavender mixed with it just was right now as i'm like this i'm like i've put it all over me after this video i'll probably take off the stop and wear something else and maybe it will die down but maybe i use too much but i don't know but for me this is not a love i had to come back again to do this this is not a love this is not a like this is an this is i'm not i'm not um i'm not a ysl libre girl I've come to realize that I'm not a YSL Libre girl and it's okay, okay? It's okay. Maybe I'll play with it a little bit again and see, or I'll see if I'll get compliments. I don't know, but yeah. So far, the bottle is cute, but it's just not for me. I don't think this is for me. But yeah, I just wanted to come back again and give my final, final thoughts on this. And 
it's not working out <laughs> it's not <sighs> i am really not enjoying this ysl libre absolute platin i am not i need to take it off i need it off me and i would have just sniffed it from the card but when i tell you i am not enjoying this i am not i don't like it i do not like the dna of ysl libre i need to take it off <laughs> i don't like it i do not like it I, it's on my body and I am not enjoying it. I I keep trying to sniff stuff like what is that? What is that thing that I don't? I don't like it. And uh, I hate giving ne negative reviews because I don't think it's a bad fragrance. It's just not for me. And I have I've come back several times. This is like the third time I'm turning on <laughs> to record again to say no, it's not for me. I keep smelling myself and I don't like what I'm smelling. So um i was usually even when i don't really like a fragrance i can still keep it i'll use it here and there but i think this one i will put it back in the box and um i will be going back to um sephora to return this i hope the valentino one i got works because valentino born the born in roma line that's another line i do not like <laughs> So I will be I'll be returning that. I'll put that in my Sephora bag and I will be taking that back to the store this weekend. Like I always say, in all things, add glitter. Whenever you're in doubt, add more glitter. And when all else fails and your back is against the ropes, you should try something from the elevated line of YSL. When all else fails, get your nose on Rouge Velours by YSL, Caban by YSL, Blouse by YSL, Kaftan by YSL, Jumpsuit by YSL, Tuxedo. This is Tuxedo by YSL or Baby Cat by YSL. When all else fails, try something from the Elevated line and get your life because they make amazing fragrances but just the elevator line. <laughs> Add more glitter. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video.